Welcome back to St. Louis and the national championships of the Prina Incredible Dog Challenge. We've already seen the large dogs compete in our agility competition. Now we're moving on to the small dogs. The course is set up exactly the same, but the only difference you'll see is in the height of the jumps. The height is set to the dog's height at the withers, which is where their shoulder blades meet their neck. The other thing to watch that's a difference in small dog agility is their style on the weave poles. So you can see here, Joni does a hop through, and when you were watching large dog agility, they did a one sidestep. All right, we'll start the small dog agility event with Murphy and Jan Brown, the trainer. The Midwest wildcard team, Shalene. Fly. Coming in, must be intimidating for a lot of these wildcard teams to come in and compete with the na nation's best. Yeah, but they're all seasoned competitors and they come here prepared and ready. Ooh, a mislead right there by Jan. Murphy totally lost, didn't get through the tunnel in the right order. That's gonna cost Murphy. him. Peter. Now each competition, the courses are also set different, so it's not like there's the Murphy. same course every time they enter a competition, is there, Shalene? No, oh, and a mistake there on the weave poles. Dog has to enter from jump. the right side. Go jump. And no, every competition jump. to the next, Murphy. the course is different. Okay. However, this is the same course that we saw the large dogs Fly. run on jump. earlier. Tunnel. The dogs actually Fly. memorize it after they've Shoot. gone through it a few times, jump. so they uh, really push up the speed. Yeah. And Murphy coming through the finish, setting the pace with the small dog agility here today. Five volts, 46.90. Be the score to beat. On the weave pulls, Murphy came up too fast, entered on the second weave pull, but she has to enter from the right side after the first pull, so she was redirected to get back through it properly. Nice form on the teeter totter, stayed till it hit the ground and hit the yellow. We'll see if Peter Vollmer and his dog Cole can top a 46.90. Peter said that Cole likes to ride along on his motorcycle, Wait. but his wife Nancy doesn't like it too okay. much, Shalene. I wonder go. why. Uh, because it's dangerous, Trace. I'm sure that Cole looks cute on there, though. Uh -huh. This team works really well together, very fast. Ooh, nice tight turn. You know, a lot of times they say the small dogs watch the handlers mostly from the waist down, and out of their peripheral vision are really looking at their feet. And that's probably why uh, Peter here is wearing striped socks. He's maybe to help uh, Cole I was, stay focused. Yeah, I was just going to ask you why he's wearing those. <laughs> Unfortunately, just back on that other jump, you saw that he knocked a pole. Otherwise, this is a really fast, uh, good run. Here, Cole, Cole, Cole! So Cole coming towards the finish. Peter Vomer yelling. He's cheering already before the final hurdle. And they're elated as they come through with a great time of 43.93, five faults, but Nevertheless, that still puts him in the lead. He's proud of this little boy. The problem here was uh, coming off of the teeter-totter, it looks like Cole kind of changed his stride a little bit right before he jumped there and wasn't able to pull his back legs up high enough, and he hit the pole. The rest of the course was great. They were very fast and clean on everything else. Next up, our 2004 national champions, Joni and Nancy Stay. Kleinhans. She is the trainer, and I asked Nancy, what she's gonna have to do to Johnny, repeat come the come national come title, Shalene, she just says Go nothing. If it's not broke, don't weave. fix it. Weave, weave, good weave, strategy. Weave, weave. Yeah, definitely good strategy. Go on, As go. we mentioned before in the large dog agility right, competition, body positioning, hand commands, and Johnny, verbal come. cues are what the handlers go. use to get the dogs through the course correctly. And you can really hear Nancy talking to Joni here throughout go this on, course. Johnny. Come weave, come weave. You know, I was talking weave. to Nancy, she said she has to stay in good shape because the quicker that she is, the quicker her dog Joni is. That's right. The handlers definitely have to try and keep up. Come. This team has very clean lines. Nancy's very methodical. Uh, they're really nice to watch. Yes. And Joni coming through the finish. Zero faults. A 42.46. Yeah. And that Good is girl. our new first place. You rock. They are great. You know, Joni never once looked confused or rushed in going through this course. They have clean lines in between each obstacle, making it uh, short and direct. Nancy does a very nice job of directing her. It's smooth into the weave pulls here, getting in on that first bar on the right side. Hops through in small dog style and does a great job. All right, our last and final team for the small dog agility. Can they beat the 42.46? We'll find out. That's Leo. The trainer is Lindsay Mulligan. Okay. Leo's a four-year-old okay, papillon. It's very small dog, Shalene. Very job. small, but very fast. And when you see those ears, you see why the name fits. Papillon means butterfly in Italian. Go on. Lee, come here, come. 
They're doing a great job. They're team flying through this course right now. You stay. Being a small dog, okay, he, he doesn't look like he's going fast because there's not much body language. <laughs> not going too bad. Not going too fast on that teeter there. That cost him a few seconds, but when you weigh eight pounds, it takes a bit for him to get to the ground. But super quick through the weave poles. Bottom stay. No problem getting through the tunnels, obviously. <laughs> no. And small dogs have the advantage of making real tight turns through the obstacles. Shoot. And Leo coming through the finish. Very quick run. No fault so far. And yes, 40.79. And there is your new national champion, Shalene. Unbelievable. Good boy. That was a great run. Really fast. They worked very well together. The slowest part of the whole course right here on the teeter totter, just trying to get it down to the ground. Once again, no problems navigating the weave poles. Little Leo takes it. So you come out as our national champion. Thank you, we're very excited. He's great. Did you come here working hard with the, with the dog, with Leo to get him ready, or are you glad about the outcome? Oh yeah, we've been practicing hard, and when you practice hard, you win. So we did a good job, we have good teamwork. And what about this course? It seemed to give a lot of other people a lot of problems, but not you. It was tough, but we worked it out, so Leo's a good boy. All right, Leo, our champion here in Small Dog Agility. Good job. Thank you.